back at it again with Maria Schaefer and Strike a Chord. This is the segment where we like to dive deep into every physical record. Basically, we pick out songs that we feel like you won't be able to hear the song unless you actually physically pick up the record. And that's what I think is so unique to have you on the show because I really want to pick your brains about this album. I think one of the coolest songs that I heard from your record is actually your first track. Ah. I think that's one of the greatest openings. You know, you don't know what love is. Like, yeah. that is, wow. Like, just that opening kind of, like, that mood and, you know, that feel. It's like, I'm just curious, like, when you're starting off in your, like, your musical process, like, how do you even set the tone? I mean, like, we were talking about morning routines, but, like, yeah. what's your musical yes. routine? Yes, what is yours, <laughs> please? Divulge. So, for music in general or for when I'm making a record? Or? I would just, yeah, just making yeah. music in general. Uh, well, so one of the reasons that I just adore jazz is that it's a music that is so evocative. You mm. can, if you want to convey any type of emotion, like you were saying in Fallout, it can be so creepy, yeah. you know. And that's because deep lyrics, strange harmonic tendencies, interesting uh, instrumental uses. Right. Um, so, yeah, like if I'm writing music, I usually start with. Uh, a lyric will come to mind, like something, some kind of snippet, just a concept. And then I think about, well, what does that sound like? Does it sound like twangy guitar? Does it sound like twinkling piano? What's the best instrument to write this on? And then I'll start writing and it just goes from there. And sometimes it, it gets away from me, you know, like it doesn't end up at all where I thought it would. And the song takes me on the ride instead of me taking the song. But Oh, I like um, that. That's interesting. Yeah. What, so you kind of just... What feel... time do you wake up in the morning when you're doing a record? <laughs> oh, I'm a terrible... <laughs> when I'm making a record... Yeah, what um, time do you wake up? Well, when I'm making a record, I'm very plan-based. Like yeah. oh, I definitely okay. have strict markers that I abide by. So when I'm making a record, Red I'll marker. usually... <laughs> yeah. Red marker. Blue. 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 Yes! Mar- yes! Yeah! Invigoration. Blue. Yay! <laughs> um, I'll try to get up between 7 and 8. I don't always do that. I'm definitely not a 627 type of person. <laughs> Maybe your next record, um, you should try 627 should. and see yes. what happens. I'm always trying to tweak it because I actually have way more non-music business experience than I do in the music oh, okay. field. So I'm always trying to apply those business principles right. to my music. So I should totally try that. And then when it's I bet like, it would be very successful. Yeah. And then you, just, you just call your album 627. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Oh, thank you. That's amazing. You heard it first on the Chris <laughs> Collins show. Maria Schaefer's brand new album 627 AM. <laughs> <laughs> See, I should be a music manager. See, I'm so You're good amazing. at this. I'm Louis Vuitton. <laughs> You're <a> Louis Vuitton. <laughs> Tom Ford Gucci. <laughs> but I think that's like so much fun. And like, I like always like to ask these questions with musicians because I always know it's like when I'm with my band, it's like I always like to ask them like this simple question. It's like, who's the most pain in the butt person to like perform with? <laughs> Can you divulge that? Are you that? asking me that? I'm yeah. asking you. We're asking. Um, Come on, get is the it dirt. the saxophone? Is it the piano player? Is, he, is the bass player playing a little too loud where you're oh like, shut it, Bob? This or- is going to sound so um, <laughs> cliche, but I am really blessed with the people that I get to work with. Aww. And I just have amazing musicians and vocalists Nothing, in the scene. And no no drama? No, you know, I think it rings itself out. <laughs> or it's I guess- like a personal development thing, right? Like, hey, you're being a jerk. <laughs> Maybe you had a bad day or something, you know, like it's just you're a like little, a stage manager. Yeah, you're so just nice. managing expectations. You don't even, <laughs> like you're not, something I like about you, um, I obviously just met you, is you're not a diva. Like you're yeah. talented, your voice is amazing, you're, I mean, everything about you is so there mm. and you're down to earth and that to me just like makes me want to buy your album twice. Oh, well, well, I like thank that. You. I like, I appreciate you know, yeah, I like that. people in the music where I actually like the person versus yeah. being like, oh, I liked your music, but not you. No, I can't listen to Right. That. That's a bummer. Isn't right? Because that- <laughs> you're living as a person much longer <laughs> and much more of the time than you are as a musician. So if so you're doing true. poorly as a person, then that's, that's just a bummer. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that Sad the life. truth? And I, ca- I think that kind of sets the tone for your album. And I mm-hmm. know, you know, to know love, you know, show the love. You know, yeah. like, let's, you know, we got already so much negativity in this world. You know, you can tune into channel two through 11. You can see all that negativity. So, you know what? Let's hear some of Maria Schaefer's new music. This one's called You Don't Know What Love Is. You don't know what love is until you know the meaning. 
Until you've loved a love you had to lose You don't know what love is You don't know how lips hurt Until you've kissed and had to pay the cost Until you've flipped your heart Rock and roll is that outro right there. <laughs> like, who, see, I always knew that jazz and rock and roll were meant to be one. It's yeah. not the yeah. hip hop, it's the rock and roll. Yeah. Am I right? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it. I am on. Yes, you are <laughs> That's right. That's it. You know, because everybody always wants to compare it with the pop, and I don't know about that, but I, I, I'm just going to say rock because I love rock. <laughs> I think rock and jazz are actually like definitely. Um, you know, little be. partners mm-hmm. in music because it has that edge. Energy. It has that yeah. energy. The, the you know, here's a rule and we break the rule. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm not going to follow the, you know, this is a classical way of having all your stuff. This is like, no, I'm going to get dirty and, and wild and crazy and this is my voice. Yeah, so, yeah I really feel like rock, jazz, hip hop, those all have that family of breaking barriers. Yeah. 
Yeah, there's just so much soul into it, you know, and I feel like even with just that song alone, like you are hitting like vocal peaks that are high and then they come down subtle and it's like there's so much layers into jazz music, which I think is really unique. And I yeah. mean, like even approaching this album, I mean, like what were kind of some of the goals or mindsets that you wanted to hit? Was it like past influencers or was it like, you know, or these like current musicians or it could have been another genre where you're like, wow, that country artist was amazing and I want to kind of replicate that. <laughs> that's I mean, that's a great idea to having a tribute uh, record, right? Or a mm-hmm. tribute show, trying to emulate someone else. Um, for this one, I particularly wanted to kind of make jazz that if someone didn't know jazz, they would still be interested in mm-hmm. it. So I, I like wanted that. to choose songs that had great lyrics and I have great instrumentalists with me. They're, those guys are all my best, most favorite uh, musicians. That was Eric Hagstrom on the drums nice. at the end of that one. Great. Beautiful oh, solo. It. Love it. Um yeah, I wanted to just make music that was approachable to people if they weren't, you know, younger people, yeah. <laughs> younger people who are maybe not as into jazz because they think it's the old school or it's mm-hmm. that niche type thing. And I, I wanted to be, I'm a young person. I like jazz. Right. You can too. <laughs> it's it's kind of like what we even touched upon even like before. It's like, you know what? It's like. Yeah, these guys started at a young age. It was like the college era, and just because just because it's like the 30s or 40s, it doesn't mean that like jazz just stays there and it never like right. evolves. Like it's constantly mm-hmm. blowing up. And I think with like this record, I think it's so unique because basically like I could see it being in, uh, like the age group is not evolved in like in the jazz world. It's like people from like 18 and up, even the little kids, like even Marissa, like you were saying, even your little daughter, yeah, she was listening she, like, to she like bops it. out with a little head and a little like fingers to the music. It's so, she's That's so musically so inclined. It's amazing. I, yeah, she loves your album. That's awesome. <laughs> I mean, isn't that kind of awesome? Like, you're actually a babysitter at night. Yeah. that's You're a babysitter at night. You put my baby that's to what sleep I made the album and Chris. For, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you put me to sleep. <laughs> so we see we have like so many new record names for you. So we go, go, babysitter at night. <laughs> I know, right? Yes. And what I think is like really cool is it's like one of the, the artists that you showed me, which I've never even heard before, was mm. Ty, uh, Taylor McFerrin. Oh, yes. I think that's yeah. so interesting. I've never heard that kind of sound before. Right. Because, like, I was, like, talking with you, and it's like, what is jazz? And I'm like, this didn't really remind me of it, but then it did. And I'm going, it's so atmospheric, and it's yeah. interesting. It's almost like, you know, the new times, the new world. Like, I could be seeing this song, like, the minute I land on the moon, and I'm like, ooh, <laughs> this is dope, that <laughs> antidote. Like, ooh, okay. You yeah. know? So, like, where did you first hear this song? You know, I came across from that. That was a like an early release um, preview thing that was offered by NPR. Oh, and uh, I like I, was NPR. Like, I don't know. Yeah, I do too. <laughs> um, and they had yeah Taylor McFerrin's album up there a couple of weeks I think before it was literally out, or sorry officially out. And um, so yeah, I started listening to it, and then I noticed um, he has Thundercat on bass on a couple of the tracks I think, and Thundercat is connected to this other realm of music which my friends are interested in mm. and I was like oh this is something new I can I can know about this and, mm. and kind of get into that knowledge pool that my friends already have um, but it's still I mean the vocals are amazing he has a few different vocalists on there I think yeah. the one I sent you has Nye Palm yes. it, and uh, she's in this group Hiatus Coyote um, which is kind of more of that sound but even more in flux and mm-hmm. it's just it's really interesting because it's not super familiar to me coming from the jazz realm, right. and yet I can totally connect with it. And mm. so it's just, you know, informing me more. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? And we should show the listeners because, I mean, we can talk about it, but you need to hear it. This is The Antidote by Taylor McFerrin. <laughs> Before we get out of Strike a Chord, I want to show one last song from Maria Schaefer because this album is incredible. You got to pick it up. It's called To No Love, and this song's called So Wonderful They Can't Take That Away. It's wonderful, it's marvelous, you should care for me. It's all nice, oh, it's paradise, it's what I long. To see, you've made my life so glamorous. Can't blame me for feeling amorous. Ooh, it's wonderful, it's marvelous that you should care for me.
marvelous You should care for me It's awful nice It's paradise is what I long to see You've made my life so glamorous Can't blame me for feeling amorous Ooh, it's wonderful It's marvelous That you should care for me In the morning In the evening Anytime The way you wear your hat The way you sip your tea The memory of all that No, no, they can't take that away from me The way your smile must be The way you haunt my dreams. No, no. If you like what you hear, that is Maria Schaefer. That is so wonderful. Hey, you can't take that away from me. I love that. You know, when we were kind of joking while we were listening to the song, I don't want to ask you, Maria. Yes. What do you think is the perfect jazz drink? <laughs> Uh, well, I do agree. My favorite is an old fashioned, but with a bunch of those cherries. Oh, mm. I don't I know that. what those they're, cherries they're are called. Crushed. But yeah, when I'm good friends with they're maraschino cherries. Yes. I love them. When I'm good friends with a bartender, I get like six or seven. <laughs> <laughs> it's more cherries. Can than you whiskey, tie the but... um, cherry stem with your tongue into a knot? Uh, I don't know if I can share that. Oh, on the no. air. <laughs> <laughs> <That's> too much. <laughs> <laughs> I will say, if I put my mind to something, I can you achieve it. it. So. See, when you, when, when you're that. a soul searcher and you're a smooth talker, you smooth talk the bartender. We love it, and that's what's what's good about that. You know what? You guys need to pick up her new record. It's called "To No Love." It's off Marsh Music. Did mm-hmm. I pronounce that right? Yeah, see, you see I, I haven't butchered everything today. No, see, you're doing good. See, I don't speak foreign languages. I speak foreign cars. Hey, what's <laughs> yeah, up, that, dude? That, yeah, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even gonna go there. Okay. <laughs> What's good, listeners? I'm the host of The Chris Collins Show, and if you like what you see, hit the subscribe button below and check us out at thechriscollinsshow.com. Peace!